Now, I want to give you one more example that is probably near and dear to some of your hearts, assuming you watch television. And it's on looking at things that we use in everyday life and comparing a good design versus a not good design with something that's as common as a remote control. And I want to take a closer look at some of the elements that make one better than the other. So, how many of you have used a TiVo? Who knows what a TiVo is? It's a DVR. Right? Do you recognize which of these remotes is basically a TiVo remote, the original TiVo design? I'm sorry? The black one. Now, I want you to imagine you are holding each of these remotes in your hand. Which would you prefer to hold in your hand? The black one. It's nice and ergonomic, fits well, right? Now you need to control your television and your DVR. Which do you think is easier to use? The black one. Because what happens when you have a remote like this? You're looking at it. You're trying to figure out how everything works, and you're probably going to, you know, there has lots of functions. But chances are you're going to press a button, and it's not going to be what you think. TiVo actually won an award for their design for that remote. Yes, they have awards for those things. They did. It was an award, you know, an award winning design. It was the first of its kind. So I want you to look at it. Tell me what you think about this makes it easier to use than this one. They prioritize which button people probably normally use for DVR. The pause button is really big to record. The other one is just way too small. All right, so the buttons are bigger. They prioritize how they're used by the user. So they actually had users use the remote with the DVR and with their televisions to see what is it that they're going to use the most? Those are the buttons that are larger, and those are the buttons that they have stand out more. They actually also looked at, where do your fingers go? Most people use what finger on their remote? The thumb. So how do we hold this in a really comfortable manner and be able to use our thumb? We can feel around. Anything else? The colors. You'll see that it uses colors very intelligently. There's not too much. But where it does use color, it happens to be with buttons that users are going to be also using more to make it more obvious. At a quick glance, you can see, what am I looking for? Anything else? The shape. The shape. It fits nicely in your hand. It's easy to hold. Some people have described it as, I forget I'm holding it. Like one more. Anything else? Spacing the, the spacing of the buttons. We talked about the size of the buttons. These are, you know, these have larger buttons. These have smaller buttons. The spacing of the buttons is also really important. How many of you have tried using a remote where you're trying to push a button, you end up pushing two buttons? Certainly happened to me. So even something as simple as a remote control. It really makes a difference if you think about the user, actually have the user use the product, and you can come up with a much, much better design. 